Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be summarizing 2017 and talking about some of the most incredible missions, discoveries and just space news in general from 2017 because this has been a pretty incredible year in general for space science and uh, hopefully we'll have more of these to come. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now what you're looking at right now is the Cassini mission and as you can see this is in 2017 and this is actually one of the things that happened in 2017. The Cassini mission came to quite an interesting and dramatic end when the Cassini craft basically collided with Saturn and uh, finalized its transmissions right here. There we go, done. Now, that's of course not the only news that happened with Cassini. As a matter of fact, uh, right before it uh, ended its mission, one of the coolest discoveries was that we are now almost uh, positive that Enceladus, which is right there, is a world that we actually want to explore. As a matter of fact, Cassini mission right before it ended in 2017 discovered a liquid ocean underneath, it discovered a lot of really cool things like the plumes that are coming out of the um, surface right here that you don't unfortunately see in the Universe Sandbox. And most importantly, it's classified this particular object as probably one of the most likely places to find life outside of our planet Earth. This was one of the coolest discoveries of 2017 and I decided to start with this. The other discovery is a little bit farther away from home. This is at a distance of 39 light years away from us, TRAPPIST-1 system. The system with seven terrestrial planets, seven planets uh, orbiting around this relatively small red dwarf in a very tight orbit uh, with quite a predictable pattern and quite a stable um, orbit resonance that allows these planets to stay in this orbit for billions of years. As a matter of fact, uh, three of these planets might even be Earth-like in terms of uh, receiving enough light to sustain liquid water, and at least one of them might even be habitable. We don't really know anything else about it just yet, but this is one of the most exciting star systems we've discovered in the last few decades, and uh, all of this happened in 2017, and there already has been quite a lot of various um, propositions about whether this is a habitable world, or habitable star, star system that is, or whether this is a system that receives way, way, way too much radiation from the parent star, because this is a red dwarf that has quite a lot of emissions. So that was the second most exciting discovery of 2017. And let's go to the third uh, news and discoveries. And this is in regards to various exoplanetary um, searches and findings that we've had this year. One of them was that we were actually able to observe the atmosphere of this planet right here, GJ1132b. This is a very Earth-like, terrestrial-like world that's a little bit more massive and a little bit larger than Earth, um, maybe about 50% larger. Um, and it's positioned relatively close to its home star, so it's pretty hot here. But we were actually able to directly observe and study its atmosphere, discovering that, well, as we thought, it's actually pretty hot here. With the atmospheric uh, pressure and temperature being relatively similar to that of Venus. So uh, this was pretty cool because we've never done this before. We were able, never able to see the atmosphere of another planet um, that is terrestrial. Uh, and of course, there were other exoplanetary discoveries, such as, for example, um, Calat 9b, which was uh, found to be the hottest exoplanet discovered to date. But I think this one was much cooler in, in, in a sense because we've never been able to study um, atmospheres directly of other terrestrial planets in our galaxy. All right, discovery number three done. Number four was closer to home. The object by the name of Oumuamua passed by our solar system and has arrived here from another star system. It's the first extrasolar object we've discovered to date. Uh, it's very likely an asteroid or possibly a comet um, that's not very large actually, but it is very long. It's cigar shaped um, for some reason and it is moving um, at a speed that will actually take it outside of our solar system in the next few hundreds of years. 
Now, what's interesting is that we've never been able to discover these objects prior to this, and this is the first time we've seen one and we're able to even uh, take data and study it slightly as it was passing by um, the inner solar system. Hopefully we'll get to actually discover what it looks like, or even more, what it's actually composed of um, in the next few years, but chances are we might not because it's actually moving pretty fast away from our sun and of course from our earth as well. So this was a pretty cool discovery of 2017 and hopefully we'll get to see more extrasolar objects in the years to come. Now that we actually know what to look for. Anyway, and the last discovery that I'm pretty excited about and a lot of scientists were excited about as well that also happened in 2017 was the detection from LIGO, the detection of two neutron stars colliding with each other and producing a very, very explosive supernova that we were able to see, study and realize that basically just as we thought before, most of the, or not most, but all of the gold and platinum and a lot of heavier elements are actually produced during such events. In other words, what we've discovered is that because of the collision that you're about to see of these two neutron stars, the resulting supernova that just uh, exploded right here um, is actually going to use the neutrons to um, enrich the materials inside and to create a variety of heavy metals that we have on Earth and we use in daily life as well. So that gold ring that you might have on your finger or that uh, chain that you might uh, have on your neck was actually produced during an extremely explosive event between two neutron stars billions and billions of years ago, which is by itself is pretty mind blowing. So this was probably one of the coolest discoveries of the year. And I guess confirmations of the long hell theory that this is how gold is formed. And overall, this was an extremely exciting year for space scientists, and for, I guess, me as well, because I got to make quite a lot of really interesting videos. We had Now, hopefully we have another year to come that will be even more exciting. But until then, I wish all of you and your loved ones Happy New Year. And hopefully uh, you'll subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. And most importantly, come back every day next year to learn a lot of other things that you're going to be learning about on this channel. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere next year. I'm going to be making videos just as I did every single day. And hopefully you'll actually get to learn a lot of stuff from them. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. I have an amazing year of 2018. And thank you for sticking around for so long. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And for some reason, these two supernova just don't want to join together. They are moving apart from each other really, really fast. And so I ended up creating these two large isolated binary supernova. Now this would be a cool discovery too if we ever found it. Anyway, bye bye.